Hello Stampers, I have promised to do a video on how to color the Darling Donkeys. They are super cute, but they can be a little intimidating to, to color. I'm going to show you coloring with the blends. I'm going to use Smoky Slate and Crumb Cake. I also have a, the the lifting, the color lifter out here, and a black. I'm also going to show you how to do these with pencil colors, or watercolor pencils. And I have the, it's early espresso, basic black, basic gray, and then I've brought out a red and a green because there's a rose on the one donkey. I'm also going to show you how to color using ink pads and a water pen or our blending pen. So there's a lot of different things you can do to um, color your donkeys. So we're gonna start out by stamping some donkeys in basic black. Or, this is memento black. Another thing we can do is stamp our donkey on, that's basic gray, here is uh, smoky slate, and we can also go on crumb cake. And if you do this, you can do minimal coloring, maybe just color the hooves and the uh, and maybe the nose maybe some of the hair. So uh, let's start with these scenarios. So we have the donkey on crumb cake and maybe we want to go with black hooves. You could also do this with any of the other coloring means. We can decide to do his mane black and maybe his tail. We could also bring in just a little bit of, maybe crumb cake and do his muzzle. And you could let it, let it be as that. You could also go over the whole donkey with, um, with um, the crumb cake or whatever, but if you do that, it's a real simple means of doing that. You can do the same thing on the gray. Let's just color in some of the this with the watercolor pencil. Maybe we can just add a little bit of... And then we can bring in our uh, blender pen. And if you go over those, it smooths them out. Add a little bit there to the tail. Um, so I think you could probably just leave it as that and and call that complete. On the darker gray, there. You know, there isn't a whole lot you can do, I think, but add black. So let's just add some black to his feet.
Let's see what happens if we add a little bit of smoky slate. This is the light just to his muzzle. And that may look different when it dries. But, um, so here with minimal coloring, we have these donkeys on different colors of cardstock. Okay, so then let's get busy and see what we can do. One of the easiest ways to go on your donkeys is the watercolor pencils. I'm coloring his hooves with black. And let's do two of them here. We're going to color one with the blender pen and one with the um, with the, the water pen. Okay. So let's make this donkey brown. I'm just putting on a light. You can add a little extra if you think that's someplace you're going to want it darker. And let's use the gray, if I can find it. That's black. Here's gray. And let's do his nose and gray. And on this guy, let's just do a gray donkey. So meanwhile, they look like your five-year-old colored them at this point in time. But let's get the blender pen now. Okay, so these come in packs of three and they have a fluid in them. My tip is stained, but it is clean. So let's start and do this donkey. And see how that smooths it? All you have to do is take it over your, your coloring and it smooths it all out. It's at least improved the coloring up to, let's say, a 10-year-old. Okay, now we're going to go over the black. Okay, we also have his gray nose, and I'm getting rid of the black, so I was coloring till the color went away. And it would be nice to add a little darker brown and do a little bit more shading so we can bring in the color again and, and maybe add some extra around the outsides or places we want darker. So we've done that, so we'll come back in with our water pen. On Whisper White cardstock, you don't want to come in real many times with your, your blender pen because your paper can start to peel, to pill, and um, that isn't always a good look. So meanwhile, with very little effort there, we're going to call that that good. Maybe we can scribble over here a few places which might leave a lighter color. Um, another way you can add color is to take your pencil and scribble it here and then pick up some color with your blender pen. So I'm going to add some, and that gives you a little bit darker. So I'm going to add just a little bit of darker on the tops of the ears. And um, that should be pretty good. So we also want to color that rose in. Oops. Green leaves would be better. Um, then we'll clean our pen here and come back in and... So meanwhile, that's with the blender pen. 
Now let's bring in a water brush. Um, I'm going to squeeze it till it's wet, but I don't want it real, real wet. So I'm kind of drying it off here after I know it's wet. And we're just going to take that and color. The one thing with the water brush is it's kind of hard to be precise because the point is not as small. Okay, so now I'm going over some of the black. Okay, and we can call that good, or we can decide to add more color. Um, I'm going to um, pick up, well, let's do the gray, if I can find it. Well, that's the black, this is the gray. I'm going to pick up a little bit of darker color here and uh, put a little more around the edges. Let's do his nose too. Well, and I think we can just call that good. So with minimal effort, we have a couple of different donkeys there. Okay, I like um, to use the Stampin' Blends, but they are not always the easiest tool to use. So let's do a brown donkey. I've got crumb cake here in dark and light. And what I like to do is first just um, I like to use the big tip, but you can use either. And I just like to cover the whole donkey with the light color. Need to be a little bit careful about the lines. But all we're basically doing is adding a base color. Okay, you can get some shading with just one color if you go over an area a few times. Like there you can see a little bit of shading. So if you only have a light color, that works. Okay, then I want to add some darker things. So, I mean, and this is quite a bit darker. So I'm doing some tail. I think we'll do the hooves. And we can, um, let's do this, the nose, and maybe the tops of the ears. And we can add just a little more shading around some of the edges of our donkey and kind of where they have their lines. Meanwhile, that looks awful. But then we come back in with our light crumb cake and we go over everything. And it helps to blend out the colors. A lot of times you don't see it right away. A lot of times the blending kind of happens as it dries, and I went out of the lines there, but now if you're cutting out your donkey, it doesn't matter so much if you go out of the lines. But if you're doing this right on your project, you probably want to be a little bit more careful. Then I'm now going in like circular motions across where I want the blending done. Kind of wish I hadn't done this snout and dark, but it's kind of there already. So let's let that dry and see what we have. And since the snout's so dark, I'm going to use the color lifter just to lighten it there in the middle. So, um, that's not a bad donkey. Um, I'm going to add some black into his hooves there just to darken them a little. Separate them out from the rest of the him. And maybe put a stripe or two through some of that hair. 
So there we go. Let's let him sit and see what happens. The next we want to do a gray one. So we're going to start out with the light smoky slate. And we're just going to add a layer of smoky slate over the whole guy. Okay, so then we're going to bring in that's the, book, the dark smoky slate and add just a little And then let's come back in with our light. And now like scribbling that around circular over those darkened areas. This might ruin it, but I'm going to bring in some crumb cake for his snout and just try to go for a little mix of color there. And let's put some black on his hooves. So I think he looks kind of cute. This guy, my blending isn't real good, but I mean, it's not horrible. I'm going to bring back in my color lifter and see if we can't uh, change a few of those. But um, truthfully, I think he's good. Could add maybe a lighter place in the middle. And again, you don't see that happening a lot of the time, but as it dries, it will it will lighten. Okay, so one more way we've done the watercolor pencils. We've done the blends. I like the smooth look of the blends compared to the watercolor pencils, but um, those are not bad either. Let's bring in a different way. We can use our ink pads. Ooh, lid came off. We are going to stamp, get pick up some color here. You can't really see it. It's smoky slate. And then we can use our water brush and we can add a little bit of water there to lighten the color. And then let's just go ahead and start applying that. And you can get a real pale wash or you can um, go for a little darker if you pick up some of the ink that wasn't quite as diluted off of our block. And again, the water brush is a little bit harder to control on the legs and stuff. But then we can um, pick up a, a little bit of this darker gray here and add some darker areas. dark gray on there. It's called basic gray. And let's, okay, so then I'm using it with a little bit less water here. So it um, gives us some variation of color. Now you do have to be careful on your whisper white paper here because too much water can be pretty rough on it. Okay, so now we have hooves and muzzle. 
let's bring in, I've got some, let's bring in crumb cake. This is crumb cake. I'm going to put a little on this block. Again, you can't really see it because it's a fairly light ink. But let's, I didn't know, I don't remember if I cleaned my brush. Okay, so let's bring in a little bit of crumb cake and do his nose. So we can add different colors there. Just by um, picking them up. Okay, so I also want some black, or we can try to go really just dark. Let's try really dark basic gray. Well, apparently my camera shut off while I was finishing up, um, but I was almost done anyway. So here's just a quick recap of what we've done. We've done these in smoky slate, crumb cake, and basic gray, which would be a really simple way to have a donkey with some color without doing a lot of coloring. Then we did these in watercolor pencils, one with a blending brush and the other with the water painter. And then we did a couple with the blending, the blenders, the, the blends, shall I say, the blends markers. And then we did a couple picking up ink off of an ink pad and using the water pens. So um, I hope this helped with coloring your donkeys or other um, line art stamps.